is going to be a very quick crash course for Mesh Machine. I'll teach you all the tools that I'm using every day. Let's go. Look, modeling is important, I know, but so is everything else in the design process. In our free Hard Surface Jumpstart course, you will not only feel more comfortable with hard surface modeling, but also confident with rendering and excited about your new game-changing portfolio. Link is in your video description. Let's get started. Mesh Machine has only one menu. You can access it in both Solid View and Edit Mode. In Solid View, I'm only using one option, which is Stash It. It allows me to stash the information of normals for normal transfer. I'll teach you how to do it later on. Another thing you can do with Mesh Machine is use plugs, which I don't do, but I can show you how to do it. You know, shift click and then Y and plug it, and you can transfer normals here to fix the shading. Another tool here is going to be Quick Patch, which is also used for fixing shading. But I don't use it, I find it's quite buggy, so you know, I'm going to be covering that. So let's go to edit mode. So edit mode is really powerful, guys, okay? First of all, what you can do is run a fuse, which will fuse the chamfer into a bevel. And then you have other options, like, for example, WT to change width, tension, etc. You can now unfuse it, so go back to chamfer, right, or unbevel it. Now this works on simple chamfers and also more complex chamfers, okay? So if I chamfer in here... I can also fuse it, okay? Another fantastic tool here is going to be chamfer width. You can go to change width and you can change the width of a chamfer. Now, if you're going to go too far, you can use a tool called Unthug to fix it. So click this edge, click this edge with Control to select this loop here, then press Y, Unthug, and move your mouse to the right. You can also use your mouse wheel to scroll deeper into the bevel. Once you do that, you can actually use Mesh Machine Mirror to symmetrize it to the other side. It's view-based mirror and pie-based mirror, okay? So you press Alt-X, and when you move your mouse, you'll see this dot kind of moving, and you'll be mirroring in the direction of this dot. So view-based, remember that, yeah? So change the view and mirror, change the view and mirror. Another really cool tool is going to be Stash It, Select Loop, Boolean Cleanup, and Offset Cut. And I'll teach you all of them in one, one go. So let's have two spheres. Let's grab this sphere and stash it, okay? So it's going to stash the information of normals. Let's select this sphere and this sphere and boolean them, okay? So go to Q and booleans and union. Now you're going to do is we're going to grab this cutter here, this one, okay? And stash it again, okay? So I'm going to stash the cutter now, right? So now watch. If I'm going to apply this, right, with hard ops, I'm going to have a bit of a mess here with shading, but we can fix it very easily. First of all, loop select is fantastic and allows you to select loops through end guns, which is impossible in Blender Vanilla. So click, out, click, and magic happens, right? You got the loop selected. Then what you want to do is go to add-ons and under preferences, enable this experimental feature here, which is called offset cut. So with the edge selected, what you do is press Y, go to offset cut and magic happens. Now you can change the width of it, you can change the factor, number of these, you know, uh, quads. You can smooth it out, turn off the optimization to make them even. And this is really awesome because it will eat the geometry around maintaining shading and changing these um, here into quads. So you can bevel that now, right, like that, okay. And then watch. Click out, click, and we're going to clean it up. So we have a lot of connections here that need to, you know, need a bit of fixing, we can do it with Mesh Machine very easily by pressing Y and going to Boolean Cleanup. Now you got two options, okay? Side A and Side B. And you can flip between them using your wheel on the mouse, okay? So if you choose Side A, you can, by moving your mouse, connect these edges. And if you flip it with the mouse, you can connect these edges. It's really brilliant. So you're cleaning the entire loop with one click, okay? So now we can do is grab this edge, right click and mark seam, okay? Then we're going to select this one, press L, and we're going to transfer normals. So remember we stashed them, now we're going to transfer them. So Y, go to normals, transfer, and now with the mouse we need to choose a stash, okay? We're going to choose this one and click, and boom, your shading is back to perfect, okay? Another tool that you might find useful is quad corner. So when you chamfer your object, you're going to have all quads except the corners, which are going to be triangles. So you can change it into a corner by pressing Y and going to quad corner. And then you can also flip the corner, flip the flow by scrolling your mouse. So let's click that and then you can click here with Alt, Y and Fuse. The last thing I'm going to show you is Wedge Cut. So go to Y, go to Wedge, which is here. Then select your area, click Hold, 
move your mouse and release and there you go guys that's all the tools you're going to be needing for mesh machine in 99 percent of cases if you want to go a bit deeper check out my videos on mesh machine or go to machine.io and check his documentation thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one